Brothers and sisters, our job is not only to defeat this disastrous proposal, and we've got a lot of work to do in the next few days, but our job is to join the rest of the industrialized world and guarantee health care to all people as a right, not a privilege. Unbelievably, unbelievably, at a time in which we have 28 million Americans today, this is before the Republican legislation, 28 million people with zero health insurance. If the Republican legislation passes, there will be over 50 million people without any health care. And what we have got to ask ourselves and what we have got to demand that Congress address is a very simple fact. How is it that the country I live next to, I live 50 miles away from the Canadian border, how come Canada can provide health care to every man, woman, and child in a much more cost-effective way than our dysfunctional system? How come the United Kingdom and Germany and France and Scandinavia and Ireland and every major country on earth can understand that in the year 2017, health care is a right of all people? Our immediate task with regard to health care is to defeat this horrific legislation. But as soon as we accomplish that, I will be introducing legislation which is gaining more and more support all over this country for a Medicare for All single-payer program. <laughs> 